What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Kenzie and I'd love for you to join the Kins fam. So I'ma have another no. I don't need a hand to hold tight. Don't need a love that's all mine. But sometimes I just want somebody to talk to. So today I am bringing you guys a long-awaited life update video. I've been kind of hinting at it throughout my last couple of uploads. Funny story, I actually filmed this already and then some plans changed. So I just decided to refilm it and just open the door. Okay, like I was saying, I had already filmed this video and then I had to refilm it today because I didn't like the first one and a lot of things that I said in the first one are no longer true. So, just gonna do a life update update. That didn't even make sense, but you get my point. Just gonna be updating you guys on the ins and out of my life over the last year quite interesting but if you haven't already make sure to hit the subscribe button so you can join the Ken's fam we'd love to have you here also make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and comment down below because it helps my channel out a lot and without further ado let's just get right into the video okay so I have everything written down for what I wanted to go over in this notebook and so hopefully I can stay on track and not ramble. I even read it to Nia to make sure that I didn't miss anything or to make sure that I don't talk about anything that's not really necessary. So, so this is gonna be very straight and to the point. I wrote this out the first time that I filmed this video. I just made a couple of adjustments accordingly. So yeah, I guess the first thing I should start off with is my hair. It's cut. So I had a hair appointment to get my hair done and it was supposed to be a trim, but a trim turned into a cut because it had been like six, months since I had gotten that is not right it had been like three months since I had gotten my last trim and if you are very aware of like your hair care and like the health of your hair you know that you're supposed to trim your hair every three to six weeks or four to six weeks so obviously I didn't do that and it turned into this cute little bob I wasn't sure how I felt about it at first but it's grown on me so we're just gonna keep it moving so the first thing that I want to go over is my school situation and what what I'm doing for the upcoming school year because I haven't done any back to school videos and I probably won't just because I don't need the supplies or anything like that at least for the fall semester so I'm taking the fall semester off from school COVID really did a number on me and transferring to a new school during the peak of COVID was absolutely terrifying it was actually not it was just not a good experience I had a lot go on that I'll get into later in this video but I'm taking this spring semester or the fall semester off one to get myself back on track mentally and physically and I had some things happen with school that I just needed I just needed to take the fall semester off so I will be taking the fall semester off I'm not really sure of my plans for the spring but I know for sure the fall I will be at home working and maybe taking a class at my community college right up the street from me so that's kind of what's going on with school right now still a lot of things up in the air as far as that goes but that's the gist of what What's going on the next thing that I want to talk about is just what I plan on doing this upcoming year as well as during the upcoming months that I am taking the time off the biggest thing that impacts you guys is like my uploading and content probably for the month of August I think I'm gonna upload twice a week just to see how that works for me then I will be uploading every Friday at 3 p.m. Eastern time so I think that's 12 p.m. Pacific Time. Also, today's date is Tuesday, August 17th, and it's currently 127. I just feel like I needed to document that. So that's the biggest thing. I got this new job opportunity, and I'm still kind of working through that. So that's currently a work in progress. And I also got this dog sitting job that helps a lot because I want to do stuff with animals. And so that's going to, you know, kind of get more experience under my belt and kind of get me something that's steady that I know is going to always be there. 
there so that's a really good opportunity i love the lady that i'm dog sitting for as well as the family that i will be babysitting for that's the new job opportunity and i may be going into a night class to get a vet technician certification so that will be super fun because then i can finally get my foot in the door for like getting into veterinary clinics and hospitals and finally being able to apply and get calls back also if i look down it's because the list is down here so but yeah and then i'm just gonna focus on my mental health and my physical health and just try to get myself back to tip-top shape and like happy because i have not been i have not been taking care of myself up until recently this year has been quite quite an experience because of that so my youtube and social media plans i already kind of mentioned the youtube idea what i was trying to do there uploading twice a week for the month of august and then if that works for me i might be able to keep it up but if not then it will be every friday at 3 p.m eastern time so that's kind of the deal with youtube so just be ready and get excited for it because i'm excited i've also kind of branched out to instagram a little more so i want to be more active on there i've been posting a lot more on my story and that was something i really wanted to do this month i've been doing really well with that i've been posting daily affirmations every day one for myself but also because i like when people post things like that it's very inspiring and i have a whole highlight on my instagram for that I also posted my first IGTV, it was just a mini Target haul and that was a lot of fun to film. So make sure to follow me on Instagram so that way you guys can keep up with everything and kind of see my growth on there as well. I'll have it right on the screen as well as linked in the description like always. Just wanted to briefly mention this. I do have a boyfriend, he's really sweet and kind and I adore him. We met in middle school. We officially started dating in January and he's just been really supportive and really helped me during this very difficult time in my life he might be dabbled in a couple of videos here and there and I might see if he'll sit down and do a video with me but we shall see we might do like a boyfriend tag or something I don't know but we'll see what he's comfortable with and what he would want to do but shout out to you Mia thought it would be funny because I posted one of those question things on my Instagram and Nia thought it would be funny to ask about herself. Nia and I are still friends. She's still my bestie and I love her and I miss her because someone decided to go to Florida right before I left to come here to Oregon. But I'm not salty. It's fine. <laughs> anyway, the next thing is how this year impacted my mental, my mental, how this year impacted my mental and physical health. So the start this year off, I was really excited. January was here. I was finally moving into the dorm. I was finally excited. So I was like, okay, I get to be at CNU. I get to have that college experience. One, COVID. Two, restrictions. Three, masks. Four, COVID. So that whole experience went down the drain pretty much because of COVID and all the regulations. Then in February, my sister passed away. Then I got sick. I didn't have COVID. I got tested and everything. I didn't have COVID, but the doctor still wanted me to quarantine. I ended up quarantining for two weeks. So I went home and then I was going to go back home at the, or I was going back on campus at the end of spring break. And then my roommates texted me and said that one of their boyfriends tested positive for COVID and one of them was waiting to get their test back to see if they tested positive. She ended up testing positive and then my other roommate ended up having to quarantine. If I would have come back on campus, I would have had to quarantine or I would have had to risk getting exposed to COVID. So I ended up being quarantined and at home for a whole month and I missed a lot of classes and work because of that. So I was in quarantine for a month, which is great. We love that. So my grades just continued to go down the drain. I had to withdraw from literally half of my classes so that's another thing when I do go back to school in the spring I will still be a sophomore I won't be a junior unfortunately because I had to withdraw from like more than half of my classes both fall and spring semester of last year so that's great we love that I had extreme weight gain I gained 15 pounds in one year part of that is probably due to COVID but also because I was depressed I was sad I was not taking care of myself like I said so I gained quite a lot of weight and with that that weight gain my self-esteem and my confidence 
completely plummeted went down the drain non-existent no matter how many times i went to the gym or exercise it didn't work because i was still eating very crappy i wasn't consistent with going to the gym and mind and body are very intertwined and i was just not in the headspace to better my body at all i've basically just spent like this entire summer focusing on myself and getting myself into a better headspace and mindset just trying to get myself healthier right now i am in oregon i think i mentioned that before but i'm in oregon Oregon, visiting my grandma for the month of August and we're currently doing the no sugar diet or whatever so I've completely cut out sugar from my diet this month we've had a couple of cheat days but I've lost six pounds and I'm really happy about that my skin is really clearing up I still have pretty bad acne scarring on my cheeks but they've gotten a lot better and I love that my skin in general has just gotten brighter it's more glowy and healthy looking and i just feel a lot better it's hard don't get me wrong i struggled in the beginning trying to figure out what i could eat or what i wanted to eat but now i kind of gotten into a routine of things and it's all good and now i just don't want to cheat and so i definitely want to take what i've learned and how i've been eating out here back home with me now i'm filming a couple of videos for this month i already have this month planned out so i was supposed to upload this video yesterday but but like I said, I was sitting down, I was editing it, and I ended up having to redo the whole thing. So instead, it's either going to go up later today or Wednesday instead of Monday. I've implemented quite a few things to try to get my life back on track and get myself in a better headspace and make myself happy. Nia calls this my quarter life crisis. So some things that I've implemented in my life to help me with just overall having a better lifestyle and being happier. Um, like I said, I'm doing the no sugar diet for the month of August so that's helping a lot and I kind of already gave the benefits and stuff that I've seen since then I started journaling so I have two different journals that I use the one that I got from Target is the 300 writing prompt and it just has a bunch of different writing prompts to help you kind of it's a like guided journal so like you have something to write about and then the other one is my 90 day gratitude journal so it's a day and night reflection journal which i've talked about a couple of times on my channel i just haven't been very consistent with it even recently i've been slacking so i have to put it on my to-do list to make sure that i do it so it just looks like this you have your morning meditation and then like your evening reflection and it just asks you a bunch of different questions and stuff just to let you kind of reflect on the day and all of that stuff i already mentioned the posting the daily affirmations on my instagram story so i have an app and it's called mantra i'll have the name and like the logo somewhere on the screen probably right here but it just basically gives you a bunch of different where's my phone i can actually show you guys so it looks like this and i don't know if you guys can hear that it has like very soothing music so it looks like this and then and then it just says take a deep breath and hold the button and then it'll come up with a daily affirmation for you so for example this one i already posted one for today but for the sake of this video this one says i trust in my ability to provide for myself i have all the qualities it takes to be successful but i like it a lot i got a planner for this year which is also in my target haul on my instagram and it just looks like this and it's a 2021 and 2022 planner and it's been helping me a lot i've just been making to-do lists and stuff so this is just from my first week out here i've been using it quite a bit this was last week's and then i just kind of planned out the month of august obviously you have your monthly spread and all of that stuff so this is just what august looks like and then everything is color coded because i am a very visual person so it just helps me visualize everything i've been doing my skincare and hair care so i've been taking way better stuff way better care of my skin and my hair my hair is growing tremendously i've been drinking more water if i do straighten my hair i have a very good heat protectant and i do have a skincare routine i will be filming that video at some point that will eventually be up i promise i've also just been spending more time with friends and family just surrounding myself with good people that bring happiness to my life basically deleted all the toxic people out of my life i've had to cut out a lot of people this year which really sucks 
sucks but you have to do what's best for you and that was what was best for me at the time i've also started wearing things that make me feel confident or that i feel confident in as well as just trying with my appearance more in general every day i try to do my makeup i did already film an everyday summer makeup look and then again i've already mentioned the no sugar but just in general before i started doing that i just started eating cleaner in general yes i still had like sugar in my diet a little bit but it wasn't anything with added sugar really cut down on chipotle as well which is so hard chipotle and chick-fil-a you don't go through things that you can't handle i know sometimes that's really hard and in the moment it seems like you're really suffering and you're really going through it but you can get through it it's okay and you can handle whatever is thrown your way i promise so just keep your head up do what makes you happy and continue to grow and better yourself for yourself and not for anyone else i've had to learn that i can't can't please everyone and not everyone is going to like me and I need to start loving myself and being okay with being by myself and like doing things by myself being myself and being okay and comfortable with who I am and part of what this whole journey is about and me learning and all of that stuff but that was basically everything that I really wanted to talk about if you have any questions or there's anything that you want me to talk about or if you just want someone to talk to you can DM me or whatever makes you feel more comfortable and I will definitely answer and we can talk and I can answer any questions that you guys might have to the best of my ability but that concludes today's video if you did like it go ahead and give it a big thumbs up comment down below the smiley face emoji because I think that everyone deserves to be happy and we should all be smiling make sure to hit the subscribe button so you can join the kins fam we'd love to have you here also hit the bell so you get notified every time I post a new video and I I will see you all in the next one. Bye.